Hello everyone, this is Korean Onni from Korean Onni is K Bin, but today it's not K Bin, it's K Hop Bin. Welcome to the studio, Juno Flo. Hey, good to be here. Thank Ooh. you for having me. <laughs> um, so you released a new album. Mm -hmm. It's called Jeonggu Album in Korean, but what is it in English? Yes, so that would be a full-length album. Full-length mm -hmm. album. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. This is the first English interview. Yeah, I first one. Korean. Everything's been in Korean so far, so... Such an honor. Yeah, so I, I gotta switch uh, gears in my brain, too. Mm -hmm. Back, to, back <laughs> yeah. to English. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I want to ask you some questions uh, regarding your album and also you as well. Mm -hmm. So the first question would be, uh, many people in Korea know you from the show, the show Show Me The Money. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know that you have been doing music even before the show. So yes. I would like to ask what kind of music have you been doing? How long have you been doing? I started to like, write, record and make music in mm -hmm. 2010. It's been a good good nine years now, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. And, and back in the day when I first started, like the type of music I made was a little different. Um, I started because of, because I love jazz hip hop. Mm. So I, I kind of started to make music because of this producer called Nujabez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, he's, he passed away. Mm -hmm. um, but then he was like one of my greatest influences and one of the reasons why I started to write. Mm -hmm. Because when I heard his music, it made me like think so much. Mm -hmm. it, it made me have so much to say. Mm -hmm. right? And I wanted to write it all down. So that's how I started. Um, Rapping, oh. and then you know eventually, jazz, yeah, because yeah, oh. because I love just listening to jazz. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure, so I don't know much about music. But when I listen to your song La Familia, mm -hmm. I also thought it's a it's more it's very jazzy as well. Mm, yeah, that's more like I kind of got like a Latin influence uh -huh. for that. Yeah. Why? So there was uh, Espanol in the song. Right. Yeah, I was curious. Does it, does he have a Latin background or? Yeah, actually, mm -hmm. my uh, most of my family is from Argentina. Oh. Yeah, like most of my cousins, my oh. uncles, they were all born in Argent, born and raised in Argentina. Mm -hmm. And my parents, they grew up in Argentina too. And They're so, not from Korea. Just my mom and dad. They were they were born in Korea, uh -huh. but they grew up in Argentina. Wow. And then and then the other side of my family, they were all born in Argentina, mm. yeah. but they're all Korean. Yeah. Oh, that, but that's but just culturally, they're you know uh -huh. uh, South American. Uh, yeah. I want to ask you more about your new album. The what, what was the title? The um, statue yeah. and also Icarus. Yeah. Where Icarus. do you get those inspiration and how do you? What is the process of making those inspirations into a whole piece of music? The album title statues. Uh, that kind of came to life because mm -hmm. as I kind of traveled a lot last year, I went to different places, different countries I've never been to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just like sightseeing, you mm -hmm. see like really, you know, amazing, important, like historical mm -hmm. monuments. And I saw a lot of new things and I see, you know, everywhere you go, whatever city or country you go to, there are statues mm -hmm. that people put up. And these statues are of people that are like, important like mm. they've done something to shift or change culture they've influenced society yes. they've done something greater than themselves mm -hmm. and i always thought like how how is it possible that like that you could do such, such like such great things and have someone be like hey i'm gonna build a statue of this person yeah. and like actually like chisel away you know so for me that was a motivation for me on this album it's like like i want to be great I want to be somebody that's remembered, even when this physical form mm -hmm. dies. dies like when, when when this physical form goes, another one will you know come up in my image. Like that that was the motivation. And you know it's not like me saying like hey build a statue after me. You're making it yourself. That, right, exactly. It's like you know I'm not saying I'm not ordering someone to make a statue. Like, I'm building my own statue. Yeah. I'm building something that will kind of uh, remain once I'm gone. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's uh, through my music, mm -hmm. hopefully. That's that's yeah. awesome. Personally, my favorite song from your album was Monday Blues. <laughs> because yeah, can shout relate. Out, shout can out to relate. G2. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can all relate, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. I actually made that song. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was actually Monday, 
but it was like one of those days where we all have those days you know we don't want to get up we don't want to do anything i don't stay in bed like don't bother me i ignore all calls and texts <laughs> i just you know like you just have no motivation to get out it, i actually made that song during one of those very depressing days mm. like I, I felt like i had no energy mm. and i was just in bed all day woke up at like maybe like 5 p.m yeah I, and yeah. it was already dark outside so i was like damn but i figured you know what i shouldn't waste a whole day mm. i should do something be productive somehow mm -hmm. so i went to the studio and that's how that song came out like i i, I was listening i was looking through beats uh, listening mm. through beats that i got from a producer mm. duo out here called long drive mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, one of the beats kind of like caught my attention. Mm. And that's when the whole melody came out. And that's that's how I felt at that moment. Mm. And then you you made it into music. I'm interested. Do you try to learn some more Korean? You know, for expanding your vocabulary. Yeah, too? I study like almost every day. You do. Yeah, yeah. How, how? What's your tip? Because I personally also teach Korean. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I want. What, what's your tip? I watch movies mm -hmm. you know with subtitles mm -hmm. and sometimes like a two-hour movie might take me like four hours to finish wow. because i would stop the movie mm -hmm. and i would write down all the words that i don't know oh. in, in this little notebook i have um yeah, so i have like a notebook filled with words that I don't, i've, I've never words. heard of yeah that's actually a great yeah. tip for not just korean for learning but for learning a language yeah yeah so that and like mm -hmm. music Mm -hmm. You know, just reading all the lyrics and mm -hmm. all the th terms or sayings that I don't know, I write all that down. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's kind of how I've been studying. Well, that yeah. and the people around me, just people like around. I just talk with them. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, how long have you been in, um, like, settled in Korea, and how was it like? Do you miss America, where you were in? Mm -hmm. um, what are the things that you miss? I've been here for about. A little over two years now. I do miss, you know, LA. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah, was, like I was born and raised. Yeah. The weather yeah. now. <laughs> but you know, out here, it's such a, it's it's like a new and mm -hmm. unique experience for me too, because it feels like I'm reconnecting with like my roots. Mm -hmm. you know? And my family, they, even my parents, they always made me speak Korean in the household. Mm -hmm. They told me that I can't speak English. Oh, really? Yeah. So I, I've always I always grew up with the Korean culture, uh -huh. like already embedded in me. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, being out here, actually living and making a living out here, mm -hmm. it's it's been different. It's been tough. You know, there are like little things that little like daily routines oh, yeah. that I no longer have here. Mm -hmm. Like like what? Like driving some uh, like you know from home to. Uh huh studio but it, usually in like LA that's a long drive yes. just listening to music uh -huh. or I don't know being able to go to the beach whenever mm. I want because I used to I used to go there a lot like it used to be my escape mm. kind of but you know out here there's like mm -hmm. different things I have to adapt to like you know people may see me and they might be like oh yeah Juno flows like super famous mm. or, or like you know he's like doing really well mm -hmm. But you know, like it's it's we're all still working towards yeah, that, and I'm still working towards my goal. To I'm still very far from like where I want to be. Uh -huh. yeah. What's your final goal? My final goal. <laughs> this is a very big question. Yeah, but... that's, that's a huge question. <laughs> to be uh -huh. a remembered just artist mm -hmm. more than music, mm -hmm. you know, like into the whole fashion field and fashion. Like yeah, like I, I, I want to get in there too, and I want to like work in other aspects of entertainment. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like like a renaissance man. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Being able to do lots of things, yeah. being good at lots yeah. of things. That's the goal. That's yeah. that's awesome. But for now, just you know, I'm I wanna uh, I wanna be the best musician I can be. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, I know that your national tour is coming up on February. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. That's Thank you. that's really awesome. Thank you. And then you're having your overseas promotions and everything. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Having your own concert tour, national concert tour. Yeah, it's that's dope. That I've I don't think I've ever done a solo, like a full solo tour. I've done solo shows, like in New York. 
I did a uh, solo show that actually sold out. So that was the first time I ever sold out like a show and under in my New name. York. Yeah, so I, that, that's when I was like, oh, that's that's really crazy. Like, there's people that really enjoy my music. Yeah. And, and that, you know, I was like, wow, that's amazing. But this time in Korea is the first solo tour that I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just excited. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I want to make sure the show is fun. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's going to be fun. Yeah, I, I've been to um, his concert two times, um, but his performance is dope, very talented. Um, also, if you do an international tour mm -hmm. one day, what country do you want to go the most? Like, okay, there will be America, I think. Yeah. Uh, but what yeah, another, China, another one? I just want to do all of Europe. Europe. Yeah, all of Europe, all the like you know, London, Spain. I actually went to Germany last year for a show, and that was pretty fun. I didn't think that many people would come out, but a good amount of people. I think over like two, three hundred people came out. And it was in it was in this place called Bochum, uh -huh. so it's kind of like far away from the main cities. Uh -huh. So people were like, "Dang, why are you having a show in Bochum?" <laughs> and I was like, "I don't know. That's where I got booked." <laughs> but people actually came out. Like they drove all the way, or wow. they took the they, they took public came. transportation. They to see you. Like somebody came from Hong Kong. Like they flew all the way there to see that. So shout outs to like all these people all that fans. came a long distance to uh -huh. see. Me. So this time around, when I go to Europe, like I wanna, I wanna hit all the main countries, you know. Yeah. And even like the not main countries, if I have people that like listen to my music. Uh huh. You know? it, it's, it's such a nice. I, I think it would be such a nice feeling that there are people listening to your music all around the world. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so please, uh, lastly, please give a shout out to your fans, um, not just in Korea but your international fans. Mm. Also for our channel, Korean Now. <laughs> Korean Now. Yeah, Korean Now. Yeah. Jay, shout outs to everybody who um, listened to my music. Thank you for supporting me. All the old and new fans. Um, I hope this album, I hope you guys keep listening to the album, you know? Like, keep listening. I spent a lot of time with all the details in this album. So every time you listen, I'm sure you'll hear something new that you haven't heard before. Um, and yeah, shout outs to Korean Now. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah. Peace.